Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about update state. The topics that we will cover up in this video are update statement, syntax of update statement and some point of caution while working with update statement. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. Update statement is used to modify a record. It updates or modifies the existing records of a standard object or a custom object. For example, here you can see we are performing a SQL query and fetching a record in the ACC variable. Then we are changing the name of the same account and finally we are updating that specific account. We have to make sure the record has ID so that the record can be identified to update. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much, guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of the update statement. So let me open the anonymous window. And here at this time, we are going to update a specific record. Now, while we are updating a specific record, ID field is a must in that specific record. That's why if I'm trying to update any record like this, it won't get updated. Let me show you that. So instead of insert, I'm using update and I'm trying to execute this and I will get an error. And you can see it is telling that while you are updating, there is an argument that is missing and that argument is nothing but ID. ID should be specified when you are making an update call. So the best way to update any record is either provide that ID over here, but Salesforce highly recommends not to hard code the ID. So the best thing to do for the update is query that specific record which you want to update and then you can certainly update it. So I am going to query this account where the account name is sample account 4. So for that I can write down a SQL query over here. So here you can see I am getting that specific record over here where account name is sample account 4 and what I will do is I will change the type of this account to prospect and then I will update the account. If I will click on execute then the account updated successfully. Now we can go to the org to verify that and if I see sample account 4 and open it in the details part, you can see the type is not prospect. So that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.